Aloha friends! In our last three videos on Maui, we took you on the road to Hana, to the North Shore and the West Coast. In this fourth and last video, we will cover the remaining South Coast, Haleakala and some other gems. One of our best memories on Maui is getting to see so many whales up close. So we rented some kayaks in the Manakai Resort in Kihei and headed out into the ocean. And off we go! Whale watching in Kihei, Maui. Faster! <laughs> Faster! <laughs> We waited for about half an hour in the open water. No whales. And suddenly they surrounded us and we spotted some moms with their baby whales up close. After a couple of hours in the ocean, we headed back to the resort and thought the action was over. We couldn't be more wrong. Just a few meters off the coast, whales started breaching just minutes where we had been kayaking before. natural beaches that aren't as crowded as others. where the water is very shallow and clear.
closely, you can spot some crabs on the rocks. In Kihei, you can also find the Kamaole Beach parks that are well kept, but also a little more crowded. is the place where most tourists stay, so here you will find plenty of restaurants and shops as well as many bars to go out at night. When you were playing that record, what were you thinking? find more upscale beaches and resorts in Wailea. You can stroll along the Wailea beach path and enjoy the view. monkey pot which was not too expensive for an upscale restaurant. The second best spot next to Malapir in Lahaina to snorkel with turtles is Mokena Landing, also known as Turtle Town. are all over the place and Felix showed us also a great secret underwater cave that you have to dive into. The first few meters are pitch black so you have to know exactly where to surface. A couple of hundred meters off the coast, there's actually another cove where a reef shark is hiding, but not today. Thank <laughs> you. 
Turtle Town is extremely worth the visit, as you can spot a lot of other sea life here. Graves, which is near Turtle Town, you can get another nice view of the coastline. One of the most popular beach is Big Beach that is at the very south of the island. If you see some holes in the sand, there's probably a crab hiding inside of it. And just next to Big Beach, which is very popular among tourists, you can find Little Beach, which is more famous for beach parties, mostly for locals. And just north of Big Beach, you can find Onoili Black Beach, which isn't even close on part to Black's Beach in Hana. East of these beaches, you can find La Perouse. The trail around La Perouse Bay begins at the parking area. This epic hike takes you across the ragged lava shoreline, which hosts numerous caves and tide pools. Bring good footwear and mosquito spray. If you're as crazy as Felix, you can also go snorkeling here.
If you leave the trail, you can find cool spots like this arch in the cliffs. Back in La Perouse, you can go snorkeling as well. If you're lucky, you can swim with dolphins here. Just north of La Perouse, you can find the Ahihi Kinau Natural Reserve with beautiful coral reefs that is closed for study and restoration, however. On one of our first days in Maui, we drove up the volcano Haleakala with Bernd and his family. It took us about an hour to get to the top, and as it is a national park, don't forget your America the Beautiful Pass to get free entry. It can be 30 degrees Celsius on the beach and freezing cold up here on Haleakala. Inversion layers often cause foggy and rainy weather at the top, so you rarely have a good view of Maui. If the weather had been better, we would have hiked some more. At the top you can see beautiful plants called silver swords that only grow here on Maui, Haleakala. At the summit you can find a visitor platform and the Haleakala observatories. Haleakala is the perfect place to observe the stars and it is over 3000 meters high and far away from light pollution. Another cool place to check out is the Ali'i Kula Lavender Farm at the foot of the volcano. This beautiful farm offers more than just lavender. You can walk through a garden filled with many local plants and flowers. Breathe in the sweet scent of lavender and take in the stunning view. checked 
out Waihu Spring Forest that leads you into the depth of pine trees, which we didn't find that special, so we continued to the Peai Cliffs. They are located just before the beginning of Road to Hana. To continue, you need a high clearance and 4x4 vehicle. As we had none of those things, we parked on the side of the road in order to prevent our car to end up like this or like this. to a beautiful site where you can hike down to the beach. A couple of miles closer to Kahului, you can stop at the Hookipa Loka to watch the biggest waves on Maui break. Here, professional windsurfing competitions take place. you can find some restaurants and in Kahului you can find big shopping malls. Unfortunately, after three weeks it was time to leave Maui and continue our road trip on the US mainland. Although we were only here three weeks, we felt nostalgic especially as the beautiful memories came back during takeoff. Five hours later, we land back in San Diego. 
If you like this video, consider following us to get our next videos of our road trip. Mahalo.